Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, April 11th. We got some green coming in today. Markets liked the uh, data that came out this morning. So, had about a 30, uh, 35 point push up in SPX futures. Yeah, there's a little, little spike there in the VIX, and then it got crushed. It was, man, above 17. Now it's back down to 15.78. Just barely in the red for the day. So hopefully we get somewhat of a calm day from this point forward. Doubtful, but we can hope. Stocks, most in the green. Costco up 1%. Snapchat up over 1%. Everything else is anywhere between flat and 1%. We got earnings starting to uh, starting to see the dates on a lot of earnings. Yeah, banks banks are the first ones to announce earnings. Yeah, I don't know, Al Piero. Nothing's nothing's uh going on in the background here where I'm at. That's the P futures up ten, Nasdaq futures up sixty eight, Dow futures up sixty one. Everything was in the in the red before the and the uh, data came out. There is the bell. NASDAQ opens up 71, S&P up 11, Dow up 20. I get my NDX trade on here.
FTX coming down a little bit. Let's see if we can get filled. No yet on that. Our second bar here. And this NASDAQ trade, sometimes it just, it's tough to get filled. Dow is in the red. NASDAQ S&P is still green. There we go, filled at 480.
Yeah, I got filled at 480 on my NASDAQ trade. All right, let's look for some volume coming in now. Had a good volume runner yesterday in the NVIDIA. S&P coming down. VIX back in the green up. One and a third percent. I am not seeing any potential volume runners out of the gates here. So no volume runners. NASDAQ coming down to lows now. A little bit coming down, pushing down through where it, op it opened. Expect to move 30 points for SPX today. All right, we will look for some mighty 90s now. Nope, no volume bars.
Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any mighty 90s here either. Coinbase, maybe. Yeah, BA is actually that bar is growing pretty good. So Coinbase looks like it might have a mighty 90. And today we trade the one DTE option chain. Ooh. I guess they're okay. Coinbase, I would trade the 250 calls. Try to jump in here. Build at 445. And you can get a better fill than I got. And I would get out of half at, oh, that one's already popped up. Ooh, try to get out of half here. Build at 495 to get out of half. So nice bump up there and right away in Coinbase. Yeah, Boeing actually had a big volume bar to the downside, downside volume runner. But it has not need a little bounce up. I would close another Coinbase at 540. Actually, let's go 530. Apple pushing up.
the mace back down. No bounce in Boeing. VIX creeping up. Yeah, Boeing's getting another volume bar, but it hasn't it hasn't bounced any. So need uh need to push up Coinbase there starting to come up. Filled at five thirty to close a quarter of my Coinbase. <laughs> Nice little push up there. It's kind of bouncing around. The, the bid ask is getting, it gets tight, then it gets wide. Boeing with another big bar, but man, it's about ready to flip green. So I'm, I'm going to stay away from Boeing. I don't, I don't like it when it's, a tick or, tick or two away from turning colors.
Well, Coinbase just went green. Right, right at the end of this bar. So technically, I would need to close it, but I'm not because it just flipped. There we go with the push-up. Build at 575. Close a quarter of my coin base. Very nice, mighty 90. We got two contracts left. I would close another one at six. Let's go six thirty. No, I only did six contracts. About three. Th I I kind of, I'm kind of right in that uh, 3,000 buying power right in there lately. Wish I would have done 10. Build at 625. And, and actually, I am out. <laughs> I thought I had two left. I only had one left. No, I don't. I got one left. I got one left. No, I, no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm seeing things. So definitely a good trade. Coinbase. Indices are not really going very far right now at the moment. Yeah, that was a nice trade. And so if you're looking, if you're new and you're looking at Mighty 90, like you can see in Coinbase, there's distinct separation in volume pop. You know, it's not just barely bigger than the previous bar. Like you can definitely see the separation. What else we got? MU, potential Mighty 90 short. You can see this bar is bigger. It's pushing up. CMU, I would trade the 125 puts. Build it a buck 92. That bar was ending. Yeah. 
and not not bigger than the first, so we're good. And we get out of half at ooh, it's already come down. Missed that. Uh, I was going to say 211. I'll just say 215. Yeah, today, today it's like right after I've gotten in, of course, I've done a good job of getting in right at the end of the bar. Because the bar, you know, like an MU is pushed up. Same thing with Coinbase. Yeah, it wasn't quick enough there. Just need it to push back down a little bit. Again, you can really see the separation there in that mighty 90. S&P coming down. Nice little almost 10 point move, 10 point move down there and this five minute bar. <laughs> I swear. Well, MU just need a little push down in you. Yeah, SP's red now. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. I was worried about that with MU. Well, you can. Get a better fill than I got. I uh, would look to add at about a dollar seventy. which it is currently at. Still at a buck 70 to add to MU. So SPX coming down. What is the NASDAQ doing? NASDAQ is still green.
NASDAQ hasn't gone very far. With this ad, I would get out of half my MU now at a buck 90. S and P still coming down. It's come down about twenty points since the open, but not MU. It is on a mission. Yeah, Dow is down one sixty five. Not much else shaking here. Here we go. Filled at 190 to close half my MU. So a good add. And then I would get out of another MU at 210. SPX really coming down. Fifteen point move down in the last ten minutes. Fix up uh, almost three and a half percent now. I mean, there's somebody speaking right now. Jesus, give it a rest. Nobody wants to hear it. Micron getting a big bar here. If it flips green, I, I will get out of this mighty 90. If, it's, if it stays red, I will stay in. NASDAQ touched lows of day and then popped back up. Well, I would exit because if it flips green, it becomes an upside volume runner. I mean, once if it turns green, it's now an upside volume runner. So the rules are the rules for the mighty ninety are gone. But it stayed red. So let's see if we can get one more red bar here. Oh. 
build it. 210. Close a quarter of my micron. So once again, that ad definitely paid off. Yep, my I've I found last year I found that mighty nineties when they go against you, if you can add to it, it's not a bad thing. I became pretty profitable at a much higher win percentage by adding. Um, now from time to time it becomes a big loser. If it doesn't, you know, but if you follow the rules and it stays, um You know, it stays, you, you get your two bars, you just wait for them, no matter how long that is. Typically, it, you, get, you get some money back. So SPX really falling here. So I'll be closing my MU here after this bar. Wow, MU, uh, SPX. We're getting bloody here, folks. S&P has already hit the expected move, 30 points. 30-point move down. Close to it. Blah. D. I have an order in at 230 to get out of another MU. Phil, 230. And we have three minutes left. I mean, I'm sure at some point it's it's SPX is going to bounce back up to highs of day. So that's usually what usually what happens. You know, when I was trading TLC for so long, I just never saw for those months. I just never saw like the twenty point moves in fifteen minutes. It just didn't. It just didn't happen. Even on these, you know, these days it might happen right out of the gates, but. Pretty tough, man, when you get whipsawed, you know, 30 point move down, 30 point move back up, you know, things like that. Build at 250, close another MU. As you can see, I got my original fill is a buck ninety a buck ninety two, so roughly ten percent is every twenty cents. So that's how I do that, and I'm going to be closing my MU on this push down. I got thirty seconds left, so I'll go ahead and close. Fill at two sixty five. So, two very good Mighty 90s today. Hopefully, if you're new, you kind of learned what the Mighty 90 is. It's one of my faves. And even here, I could have probably left a contract or two on just to see if this thing really gets out of hand. You know, sometimes I do that. But, yeah, I mean, it's still coming down. I probably could have waited... Could have got a little more out of it. But, all right, folks. I'm going to uh, jump off here and, I don't know, maybe be very careful about entering TLC trades until I can see some consistent consolidation here. 
because there has been none so far. So see everybody back during power hour. Peace.